that's good. <sighs> Sucks I'm going to have to talk about this a little bit again. But my discipline has still been sucking, you know, ever since I've been off my diet. And I think that's just because it's been the introduction of a ton of sugar and all that. So, you know, I allowed all that sugar and now my brain really wants more sugar. So, you know, it's just been stuff I've talked about um, frequently. So, I don't need to get into it again, but um, every day... You know, I've been trying new things to basically keep that in control. But it's it's a very powerless feeling. I haven't felt like this in a long time. I just feel like I've lost that part of my brain that that wants it. I still want it, but it, it's after the fact that I'm like, why did I why did I do that? Like why did I eat that, for example? I know I don't want to be that way. Get out. But the hunger really um, overpowers that. But I, I now have a lot more tools than when I last felt like this. You know, it hurts my, uh, my ego a little bit to keep bringing this up. You know, especially because of all that I've said about um, blah, blah, blah. I can never be addicted to something. Or, and see, that comes up when I talk to my grandma because my dad is an alcoholic. And I'm like, I can never be like him. But I know I couldn't because, and it's even the same now. It's not alcohol, but this little food addiction that I have. Every day I wake up and I'm like, okay, it's a new day. I'm going to be better. There is no sitting in a depression being like, well, I can't fix it. I know one of these days is going to be the day. And once the ball gets rolling, the ball's going to get rolling. You know, and it's crazy. I know all this and I, I have so many positive factors that would, um, that, that aren't working right now to counteract that. But I, I've been trying a lot of things like, bro, I... You know, I sat and I sat there and I thought, like, what do I really need my computer for? Nothing. Nothing that's gonna hinder me. It's like, okay. Uh, be good about your diet, and you get to use your computer in a week. So I'm not gonna use my computer for a week. So be it, man. I gotta start listening. You know, it with the with the allowance of of that food and whatever. The rest of my brain's been kind of weak as well. Uh, so just gotta keep working on it I don't like having to talk about this because again it hurts my ego a little bit but you know every day I wake up I'm like okay uh whatever like today was good but my grandma bought ice cream for herself but it's, that's the worst part because I know this wouldn't be happening if I could control what food was in my house you know but um, safe to say she doesn't have any ice cream anymore. I ate it all. That's just, it's been the one thing that's been been, been hard for me. I just have really huge ice cream cravings. It's because of all the fat and it's because of all the sugar. That's what my brain wants. But today I was eating, like I, I'm basically on a diet again, but I'm not limiting my calories. I'm just trying to control what I eat to because obviously my body can eat a lot more than I need so I ate I ate 2,000 calories which my diet was 1600 but I ate around um, 2,100 calories today and yeah I was pretty full so uh, I guess that little 500 calorie increase that's probably where I should sit around there um, eating a little bit more wouldn't hurt as long as it's just not bad for me yeah I just ate like a thousand calories of chicken and that's what did it so just gotta follow that I just gotta follow that I and I was good about it earlier in the day um, but then I was like 
Ooh, you know, just a little bit of that ice cream. You know why? Because for some reason, my stomach, it wasn't upset, but I, I don't know. I just thought that having something cold like ice cream would help. So I had a little bowl of it. I had a little bit. I was like, you know what? Um, cool. You know, like you, you portioned it. You had a little bit of it and that's it. And nope, went back. And I, I always do that. I always do that. Because it's not the rational me thinking, but I got to stop talking about this. One thing I'm grateful for. find something new I guess I'm just gonna keep thinking back to my trip to Boston uh, one thing I'm grateful for I'm grateful for blood work I really am even though um, this is what my arms still looking like so it's a bit darker so that means that's good I guess like that's gonna fade away eventually and although this blood work isn't gonna it's just gonna show them things not gonna show me anything a lot of work is very important. Um, and not that I've ever really gotten a test like this, but I do find it fascinating how you could just get a get some blood work done that, uh, you know, tells you what you're deficient in, what you need more of. That's, that's a very powerful tool to anybody who's big into nutrition, which I am, but that's kind of overdose. I won't lie. Um, I, like, I just wouldn't want to have to plan all that out. But if I could just give that information to a nutritionist or something, then he's like, here you go, buddy. If you this, then sure. But plan all that out myself is nope. Uh, with my free time, I've just been looking at the Marines. Like I say, my discipline's been wavering in other areas because... I mean, at the same time, it isn't, right? But I've just, my mind has been in the Marines, you know, just thinking a lot more about the Marines. Because um, I'm, I'm getting closer to being done with my processing into the delayed entry program. So off the rip, it's very exciting. And that's just where my head is. So, you know, even though I'm going to have to go through my associates for the next few months uh, until I finally join the Marines uh, in boot camp, you know, right now my mind is looking past that. And let me say this, and I don't mean to come off as arrogant, but people are like, and, and I know it'll be, be the biggest challenge of my life. Um, it's not what I mean to deny, but... Um, and it hasn't really been many people who are like this, like, oh, you don't know what you're getting into, uh, you know, like, kind of just calling me crazy. But I, and you can choose to believe me or not, but I want the challenge. That's the most exciting part to me, because I know that if I can go through boot camp, I'm, I'm going to love the suffering because I know on the other side of it, I'm going to be a greater man. That's just it. Everything you hate to do, that's good for you, will make you a better person on the other side of it. That's why I'm really upset when, when like I give in to my food cravings or whatever. Because it's not always, right, it's not good for my health, obviously, to, to eat some of that stuff that I'm upset that I've been eating. But it's also just mental. I have the power to say no whatever it is but with with that as one of my accomplishments you know especially when it's statistically a, a, a rare thing there's like 200,000 marines currently uh enlisted i don't i don't know about enlisted but i believe 200,000 marines or maybe it's 200,000 enlisted marines i don't know so if you think about America, 
that's less than 1% because there's 300 million. So it's a very small amount of people. And think of all the people who quit boot camp. Um, but then there there are a ton of veterans as well. So it's it probably is more than 1%. But I, I just, I want to challenge myself. And you might be like, you're saying that now, but it's going to be really difficult. And you're going to hate it and you're going to cry and blah, blah, blah. Let's see who's so tough then. Um, but I just know that I want it. You know, like you can choose to believe me um, or not, but I know it's who I want to be as a person. That's why it, it was so enticing to me. And I've said this from the beginning. I think that the military will align with who I want to be as a person, more disciplined. That's what I've said from the beginning. It hasn't been all oh, the educational benefits, which is a big plus and the career benefits, which is a big plus. Or the job description is interesting, which again is a big plus. But it's been because it will develop me morally. And on top of that, set me up in the future. Morally, develop my character, develop my leadership skills, uh, everything. Overall, I will be objectively a better human in society for many reasons. I'll be more capable, I'll be more disciplined, I'll be maybe more respectful, whatever it is. It is objectively going to serve me in many ways. So yeah, I've been very tired because I slept six hours last night, I slept five hours the night before. The night before that, I didn't have the, mo the most amount of sleep. So I'm like reading the Bible and I'm like sitting on my phone my phone I'm like starting to nod off and whatever so I normally listen to stuff when I go to sleep though so now I don't get anything because uh, I don't get my computer anymore I'm gonna learn bro because that's how bad I want it like that's I know what I can do I just don't know why I'm being like this but I, again when the ball gets rolling I'll be back in a tip-top shape it's nothing new to me I know how to be disciplined I know how to do things I don't like I just need to remember what I want, truly. I might want to eat ice cream in the moment, but my true goal is to be physically fit for the military, which, you know, of course crossed my mind. Many things crossed my mind, but I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't, but it does. Because this is a day of failure. This is a day I won't get back. So, but I will head out, get some shut eye, so I'm not in this, so I'll go to bed now, and I'm going to make myself wake up at 6 tomorrow, just because uh, it's what I deserve for being such a loser and failing everything, but yeah, today's just been another day. There have been some things, but uh, I'm not going to disclose that information. Not to uh, lead you guys on and make you curious. Just um, at least until things are worked out. But uh, I'm not worried about anything. So I'm going to head out. Peace.